Hi, my name is Alex Zampieri. I'm here with my crew, interviewing some of the people involved in the Yale Musical Theater's The Little Mermaid. What is your favorite part about being in musical theater? I like musical theater because you get to act, sing, and dance, and it's a cool opportunity to put all those three elements together and do it with people who are all like-minded to you. The people, definitely the people. Everyone was kind of just a big family the whole time. All the people in musical theater, they're all really cool, and now they're like my best friends. My favorite part, uh, probably just all of it in general. It just seemed all well balanced and well done. Uh, being a dance captain. What's your favorite part about teaching musical theater? Well, my favorite part is the show itself because that's when you have an audience and they're actually clapping and all your work pays off because it's, you know, they actually like it, you know. So that, that is always the best part for me. Do people have to have prior dance experience before joining musical theater? The short answer is no, no you don't, but I, I teach a range of styles and every year it's something different. So what I'm teaching that year may be new to the whole cast, not just you, someone who's coming in for your first year. Um, but either way, I'm going to teach the technical skills from the start. So it uh, doesn't really matter how much dance experience you have at all. What's the hardest part about being in musical theater? The hardest part is probably just trusting your other actors. They're really good, but I personally have trust issues. Memorizing lines. Um, playing a character that you don't necessarily agree with. Definitely the final stretch because that's when everybody finally gets stressed and we're all putting the show like together from all the pieces we've had to deal with. Um, making sure that you have everything down like precisely uh, according to like the musical. So you get everything right. Have you noticed any improvement in students that have taken musical theater? Oh yeah, quite a few. Um, we've had people who were shy and actually wouldn't go on stage without somebody holding their hand to by the end of, they've done four years of musical theater, they're the main role in singing and you know, uh, they're on the stage by themselves. Um, we have people who start out as techies, um, and, but but mostly I really love it when I, I see people who are like kind of shy and eh, I'll just join it just you know because my friends in it and and then suddenly it's like wow it's like you know take off and actually get some confidence because confidence is good for your whole life, not just musical theater. It's it's good for your life. Are you planning to pursue acting once you graduate from Yale? Yes, I'm hopefully going to Toronto for Randolph Academy Performing Arts, or if that doesn't happen, then I'm going to stay in Vancouver and do stuff there. Surprisingly, no, because I've always been more of a techie kind of gal. Yes, I'm planning to go into a acting college in Vancouver, although I might take a couple years to, to travel. Yes. Can you, like, elaborate on that? I'm going to a film school in New York. Uh, yes, I would like to be an actor after high school. You're graduating this year, and it's your last time being in Yale's musical theater. What are you going to miss the most? I'm going to miss the current relationships, but I'd have to say I would, I'm going to miss definitely mentoring the new grade nines, I feel like. The companionship, the teamwork, the having a family. We are a family. That's the whole point of like theater is the family. The relationships with everyone. All the people. Everyone was really cool and nice, and I love them, and I'm going to miss them.